Hey. Hey. Oh, I'm looking proud. What are you doing now? So, welcome to your first Christmas on thrilling Blackwood presents. I like it. So, where's, um, Paul? Yeah. I thought he was back, huh? He was supposed to be. I don't know, some stupid hold up in Kandahar. What about Christy and the girls? Uh, sunny coast. School holiday. I'm going up tomorrow. Oh, shit! Language. Sorry, shaving. Told you to check the gas bottle. All right, I got a bottle. I'll go get it. They said to get an extension cord too. Anyone there?
And do you know the owner? Well, it's a deceased estate. Bailey was her name, Mrs. Bailey. She's been gone for years. I think her son listed it. And you say no one at the premises? No, we all thought it was vacant. Who is he? Did you get the jacket? Pardon? The blue jacket in the laundry. Sir, it's time to go. Sir? I got him, Chris. I think they got the guy. How long do you think he's been hiding there for? I don't know. Merry Christmas. Hey, we should wait till your mother's ready. Thanks. Are there any more headache tablets? Don't look at me. It's face cleaner. You'll get zits soon. Watch these. Hey, wait until your mother's here. What happened up at Mrs. Bailey's house? Who was that fat guy? Well, I'm sure the police will find out. Do you think he could have killed Tom? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! What? Did you burn them? No. Tasha, Eva, go and pack a bag each. What? Go and pack a bag. We're going to Uncle Malcolm's. Christy. What, what are you talking about? Now. Chris. We're going. What, now? Come on, they just arrested a guy. I'm not blind. You can't do this, OK? It's Christmas. What do I have to do? Tell me what was in the bag that you threw in the river. And don't lie to me. If you want any relationship with me, with the girls, do not lie to me. We're going! You have to go. I said we're going. Eva, come on. Eva, no, this isn't right. Come on, Eva. This isn't right. Off me. Get in the car. Dad. Dad. Maybe I should come back later. No, we're going. Okay, come on, sweetheart. Hey, I'll fix it. Okay, I'll try and sort this all out. But just, just go, just for a little while, okay?
colour was it? Blue. Men's, women's? I don't know. And the stains on it? Blood stains, excuse me. Okay. How are those headaches of yours? That eye? Getting blurry vision? Do you know who the guy is? We've never seen him before. No. Would you like to continue to search upstairs? Was the door locked? No. So you didn't break in? No, I didn't. Where's your family this morning? It's Christmas, they're out. Ah, yes. That's your brother-in-law's. Why aren't you with your family, Cornia? Hmm? Aren't they missing you? You've looked here, haven't you? Not personally. Finished? <laughs> you don't think there was a jacket? You're trying very hard to do something, Mr. Gundlach. Keep going into places you're not invited. Finding things, losing things. Have you found your lost torch yet? There was a jacket. It had blood on it. that boy. Tom was fine. But I'll be glad when that slut of a mother of his is gone. This used to be such a nice street. The sooner you're behind bars, the better. Hi, it's Christy Gundelak. Sorry I can't take your call. Leave a brief message and I'll get back to you. Call me, please. Hello? Stuart, Ben Gundelak. Ben? I didn't expect to get you today. I thought I'd get your voicemail. No, 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 that's OK. Um, what can I do for you, Ben? I don't know if you know, but the cops arrested a guy up the road from us. Yes, yeah, I heard, uh, but nothing else. Listen, um, Christy's moved out. Girls, and, uh, like Stuart, kind of... do you want to top up? Uh, sorry. Ben. She's engaging you for the divorce, isn't she? Now, come on, Ben, let me explain. That you... You're a rat, Stuart. I don't really think I can represent you in, in this other matter, man. Oh, you mean the murder charge is coming up at me? Look, I know this really good crim defence lawyer. He's reasonable. Yeah, well, why don't you have a chat with Christy about selling the house, and I can figure out how I can pay for a barrister. Ben. What? Hi. It's, it's me, Jess. 
I heard the others leave. There you are. You okay? <laughs> are you? I've been watching the news since I saw the cop cars this morning. Was it him? Yes, I found a jacket there with blood on it. That might prove that he did it. Went missing. I don't know how. I mean, maybe the guy doubled back for it, but I can't see how he could have. I mean, maybe. But when I got back and after they took him away, he was gone. I don't understand. Just, I think someone's trying to set me up. What? Well, you know that torch that was in the paper? I had one like it. And it went missing too, out of my ute. Why you? I guess... Uh, I found Tom. No. That can't happen. Can't work out like that. They've got him. Yeah. Wait here. Uh, yeah. He didn't make presents for everyone. Just a few. Who is he? Who's who? Guy you arrested in my street. Oh, you didn't arrest him. Thank you, Edris. Take a seat, Mr. Kundalak. This is Mr. Felix Lenegas. He's a former resident of Gow and Bray, a mental health facility that closed last month. Says is determined he could look after himself. His parents are deceased, and when he went to visit the home of his aunt, Maureen Bailey, he found it for sale. And with nowhere else to go, he broke in. This is where Mr. Lanigas was when Tom was murdered. The store clerk verified that he sat outside until 7 a.m., three hours after Tom's death. Mr. Lanigas was very frightened. Did you touch him? Did you threaten him verbally? No. Did you threaten him physically? OK, I went in, I knocked, I called out, and I, I went in. 
He was hiding in the wardrobe. He ran. I didn't make him run. And what about the jacket? Where did he get the jacket? Mr. Lanikus doesn't remember a jacket. Well, then he's lying. I'm sorry. I'm, I, he must have hit it. He has the mental capability of a child. You can stay, Mr. Gundlach. We can talk some more. Is Jess now you're here? This has to happen. She can do it in her own time. She'll never do it. She'll wallow in it for months or years. In a letter. Are you serious? You have no idea, do you? I know how to look after her. Yeah, you know how to look after her husband. You have no idea about that either. Oh, what? How hard it is to be a soldier. How hard it is to be with Jess. She on her meds? What do you mean? Got it all ahead of you. What? You'll figure it out. Where is she? She's inside. Tash? Whoa! What's going on? Shit. I thought you went home. What are you guys doing? <laughs> she wanted to get some clothes, so I made her bring me. Does your mother know? You should talk her into coming with us tonight. She's got to come. We go every year, right? Come on. I'm saying. You should stay, too. It's Boxing Day. I knew bringing you would be a disaster. Cash. Mom's gonna kill you. I'll deal with your mother. Yeah, because that's a great idea. Oh, like bringing Eva here in the first place. Don't you want me? Of course I do. I want you both here, but Mum and I have some stuff to sort out. Eva, you should come back with us. This is over. Don't say that, Dad! Cash. You better phone Mum. She doesn't trust you anymore. Hello? He was here. What? How did she get there? Uh, can you put her on, please? What? Are you OK? Yes. Look, we'll talk when you get home. I'll come and get you as soon as Mum comes back. Dad's taking me to Kangaroo Point. No, he's not. He's taking me to see the fireworks like we do every year, or I swear I won't come back at all. Can you put your dad back on, please? Yeah. Christy. Fine. Take her. Have her home by 8. 8.01, I call the police. I don't like it at Uncle Malcolm's. No, no. Hey, come on. He said that you wanted to be with Jess more than Mum. No. Tom was my brother. 
you had sex with her. Chuck, the, the sex was a mistake. Tom was not. Jess loved him, we all loved him. And I love your mother still. And I want us to be together more than anything. But... She has a boyfriend. I know. Mum and I... We did a lot of things wrong. But we did two things perfectly right. Hey. So he's there every year. Can we say hello? Well, uh, we'll see. Yeah. trying to start it. I should have just dropped you off. No, she'll be okay. No, no, I get it now. This is supposed to be a family thing, and instead she's got half her family and me. She's having a hard time. But I'm glad you came. Find a table, yeah? Spare key on the table and my favorite CDs and my t-shirt. Just get out! Thank you. I'll be back in the car. Thank you. Maybe I'll go get us a table. Thanks. Hey, hey. Sounding good. Really? Been here since five. Bastard manager won't spring for a beer. Thinking of doing an Nora Jones number out of spot. <laughs> I know why you're here, mate, and it's all cool. I didn't tell him anything. What are you talking about? I mean, they put me through the ringer, but I was a rock, bro. But you're right, Cornell's a tough prick. What did he want? You don't worry, I didn't say anything about the torch. Did I? I just wanted to know about the night before. Before you found Tom, when we went out where we went, what you had to drink. 
I guess she go. Edison, he wants another ring. Cornell knows I had a few. I mean, I told him. So what else did he want to know? How you got home? I was in a cab. It's you and what's her name, right? Yeah, we didn't go with you, mate. I put you in a cab. Hi, Jess. Hi, Dave. Are you taking requests? If you request cold plate, chisel, or zep, I will electrocute you. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on? She dropped a camera. What's your problem? Sorry. Hey, hey, Eva. I want you to go home. It's okay. What happened? I want you to go home. I want you to go home. Okay, okay, we'll go. We'll go. Tell mommy you want to be with me. I do. But I can't do that. Sorry, Angel. Give me one second. Sweetie. Do you love her? I can get in by myself. Mom doesn't want to see you. Yeah. I better go. It's the Gundalak. I hope this is about that jacket. It is. Are you lying? Did you find one or didn't you? I found a jacket, and it had blood on it, and it went missing. It's no small thing having people think you killed someone, is it? No. I've seen a lot of men and women get accused with murder. Almost all of them insisted they were innocent. Most of them saw the writing on the wall and pretty quickly changed their plea. Some persisted, put up a token defense. A few of them actually tried quite hard to prove they didn't do it. But none of them, I remember, ever went as far as you. Doctor and Mrs. Turner, they've gone to ground. Their past in the UK that you dug up will probably ruin his practice. Felix Lenegas, who knows where he'll end up now. Paul Monane, you go over there, you get into a physical fight with the man and you accuse him of murder. Now, he's free, but he's gone. And you, your own family, Gone. You are running out of track, Ben. It's the finish line. When are you going to stop? When you find the guy that killed Tom. What do you think, O'Neill? You think I killed my son?
I think you better forget about that jacket. And I hope I don't find that torch. when we made him. Yeah. We could have another. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Just, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 